Hello, my name is Naomi Sufi Sabag, and I would like to welcome you to this proposal of the K. Blair Hospice. The life cycle, there is a start, middle, and end. The K. Blair Hospice encompasses this journey of connecting to oneself in these three stages. When filtering through the program, individuality begins to form going from a public space tailored to groups to a private one for the being. This project is in an up-and-coming neighborhood on Bramalia Road in between Mayfield Road and Countryside Drive. Adjacent to the site is a baseball park, as well as in front of the site is single-family developments. The plan is divided into three areas, staff, residential and support, as well as public. These areas respond to their adjacent views. Public has a loud, active environment, which is similar to Bramalia Road. As well, it is adjacent to the park, which also caters a louder environment, as well as opens to views of greenery. This funneling going through the space creates this transition between a loud to a more quiet space. The residential area overlook the greenery heritage site. They are given the chance to connect with nature and go from the busy environment to a quiet and more intimate space. The staff area serves as a barrier between Bramalia Road and the residential area. The outdoor green spaces act as fragments between pr the programs. On the north side, you can see a pathway for residents to walk on. On the east, there is a drop-off location. And on the west, there is a glass facade creating a transparency between the pedestrian and the user of the space. The south facade further emphasizes this narrative of the cycle of life and this transition through periods of time. The roof for the entrance acts as a stepping stones towards nature being the park. As well, there is a sequence going between the windows and how these moments of time almost get bigger and bigger towards a bigger picture. This facade is also an inviting space for pedestrians to walk through and is catered for the individual. There is movement and action occurring with an outdoor dining area, as well as having a facade in the office spaces, creating a dialogue between the interior and exterior environments. The east elevation also has a similar language. It seems as if as the nature behind is overturning and coming in towards the building. The glass carving through the roof also exemplifies this idea of having light come within and creates this passage of how to flow through the building. It is also shown here how the roof structure goes from a higher state to a lower as one goes towards the north. The north elevation features the roof from the pedestrian standpoint of Bramalia Road. This shows this transition of leaving behind what was the past and going towards the future and towards nature. These roof structures mimic the residential neighborhood. They can be seen as one walks through the path and towards the connecting path of the park. This section showcases how there is 
a blurriness of boundaries when it comes towards the facade between Bramulia Road and the proposed new road. These windows allow for conversation to take place and have these more public areas be able to have a adjacent residential walkway. This section shows an obvious divide right down the middle where the left hand side is towards Bramalia Road and there is this open grand large space where light is able to enter through and then moving through going towards the right side it's a much smaller and lower ceiling intimate space where it feels almost like a home. Even when looking through the adjacency there is a busy road on the left hand side versus a quiet nature area on the right. This notion of wayfinding and transitioning through spaces can be seen in the sidewalk. There is a light striped pattern guiding the user towards the building and how one would walk through towards the nature. The windows in this case are also highlighted by having light penetrate through the space and also be reflected onto the floor pattern. The second entrance is for the pickup and drop off location. There is a tree grounding the area as well as acting as this focal point of how cars would go through the space to remind them of nature and remind them of this idea of the beyond. There's also an area for memoriality to occur as well as facing the park allowing that further connection towards nature. Walking through the great room, there is ex this experience of largeness and this idea hinting towards the beyond by having the light penetrating through. This open area allows for residents and visitors to have a space where they feel comfortable and can have a conversation. The brick from the exterior is also brought in to allow for this transition to take place and how the building acts as this catalyst mediating between the exterior and the interior as well as the beyond. The memorial wall is composed of different colored sheets of metal. When combined, they create this portrait of nature. Each piece of metal represents who we are in society and how all these individuals come together and form this bigger image as well as how all these experiences come together and form a greater impact to one's livelihood. Ralph's playroom is open to the great room and features these circular skylights. 
that penetrate the space with natural light. The wood used on the ceiling brings warmth to the space as well as creates a continuous material with the mullion. The meditation room also plays with light by having this pattern of slits centering towards the middle of the space. The material chosen is concrete to connect the users to the raw material as well as make them feel as they are grounded and in a comfortable enclosed area. The family room and kitchen mimic a residential space by having wood used on the floor as well as having these opening in the windows targeted for the user to look outside and face the park. The nursing station allows for close proximity to the residents and viewing to their rooms. The residential units are designed to feel like a home and less like an institution. Residents have the freedom to design and fill the space with pictures as they please and make it feel like it is theirs. The openings to the exterior allows for freedom for the residents and visitors to enter and exit as they wish. The angled ceiling also allows light to diffuse through the space, creating for a comfortable environment.